Good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. Very much appreciate all of you are faithful for supporting my channel continuously. Today we're just going to look at some PSL updates and I would love to start by talking about Oandile Charlie. I am doing this because I've seen when I post videos most of you have been asking me about Andile Charlie. Guys, I updated you about everything about Charlie and the last update i gave you was that reports are suggesting that pirates are the favorites and that orlando pirates made a one year offer to andile charlie with an option to extend that one has been made but we don't know if they have uh if he has um accepted the offer or not all we know is that andile charlie is a free agent all those pages on facebook too many pages or oh, twitter it's a lie that uh, that are suggesting that he has signed for pirates or any other club. That's not true. This is what leads to you know many people saying would see some teams are signing online because there are some pages that are actually misleading. Andile Jali has not signed any contract. Andile Jali has not joined any club. If he has joined a club, then it is unknown to the public. That is why there is no reliable report that has come out to tell us where exactly Andile Jali is going. Did Orlando Pirates make a good offer to Andile Chali? Mm. According to me, I, st I, I still think that he's weighing his options. He might even go abroad, by the way. But even here in Mzansi, Amazulu are looking for him. Stellenbosch wants him. You know, Royal AM wants Andile Chali. Cape Town City. So there's a lot of clubs that are interested in his services. And he's still going to decide. And we don't know. But what I'm trying to ask is, did Orlando Pirates make a good offer? One year contract. With an option to extend remember the option to extend is optional just like it says an option to extend it depends on how you're playing and it depends on what the, the club is planning so does orlando pirates have the best interests of andile Chali at heart according to andile Chali's viewpoint if they're giving him a one-year contract i don't think so uh, my guess is that if there's a club that will bring a good offer that offers him two years, three years, then he might take that offer and leave Orlando Pirates, especially when he's looking at also the competition. But I'm not saying that he won't sign for Pirates, but I'm just saying that he might not sign for Pirates. At this point, we do not know. One thing I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Andile Jali's destination will be known before this month ends. The transfer window has opened and the transfer window will close also, you know, through La Palma Sugo So we will know where Andile Jali is going. But currently, all of those reports uh, or those posts that are saying that he's a Pirates player, I guys, I'm sorry, that's not true. Yabo. Moving on, moving on to Lisedi Kapinga. Lisedika Pinga is another player. Reports have suggested with the Orlando Pirates are keen admirers of this player. You can't fault a Pirates. This is a very, very good player. They are interested in his services. However, he is still a free agent. In fact, I read a report coming from the Unplayables today. They are saying that the former Mamelodi Sundowns player Lisedika Pinga has no offers yet. They are saying that it is still too early. I just confirmed his departure yesterday. For now, I just want to thank Mamelodi Sundowns for the good way they treated him. This is Moshe Mutau, who is the agent of Lisedika Pinga. Lisedika Pinga played a total or had a total of 39 appearances, providing 7 assists and 4 goals. So, his agent, Nyaizwang Shobafetu, there are no offers yet. No offers according to the agent of Lisedi Kapinga. So, we're still waiting to see which club will pounce. Again, I will say it. Before the month ends, this player will have a team. He will have a club, definitely. The same thing with Ralani. Maybe, maybe not. Surprise, Ralani is another player who is a free agent. And free to join any club. There was a time when he was linked with Kaiser Chiefs. One thing for sure, surprise Ralani and Lisedi Kapinga are free agents, including Andile Jali. All these former Mamelodi Sundowns players currently are free agents and they will join any club of their choice, given the fact that obviously you make a good offer that they cannot uh, reject. So guys, in case you missed it also, I wanted to also talk about Steve Compella. I've seen a lot of people attacking Mangoba Ngaiti to say, Manji, the ball is in your court. It's your time to also move to a club of your own. Because Sundowns, you know, you, you, you can't. Rulani is there. 
So, I don't know what you guys think about it. A lot of people have been saying this on the media, which is a bit harsh. You know, I think Mangoba Mnuchi still plays a pivotal role for Sundowns. But anyway, I just wanted to update you. Yes, guys, Steve Compella is the new Morocco Swallows coach. I posted it on my community tab. Some of you were asking me if this is accurate or whatnot. Uh, you know, you hope that I'm not lying. Guys, uh, I try my best to minimize giving you, you know, false content. I make sure that everything, if it's a rumor, I'll tell you straight up with this is just a rumor. So, yes, Buffetto, Steve Compella is the new Morocco Swallows coach. So, he left Mamelodi Sundowns right so he's the head coach of Morocco Swallows and he's going to add a lot of value i must say you know la panago swallowsi and i wish him all the best and i'm looking forward to see which players is div compeller going to you know which players is he going to 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 sign you know and what's interesting about this whole thing is that he knows sundowns and i'm sure he gained a lot very much experience from sundowns and what's interesting is that MTN8 quarterfinals Mamelodi Sundowns versus Morocco Swallows. In other words, Rulan Mukwena versus Steve Compella. Can't wait to see that one. Let me now close the video buffet too and conclude by talking a bit about Kama Billet. This is another player that some of you have been asking about. Guys, the reality of it is this. KZ Chiefs announced that they extended the contract of Itumele Nkune. They extended the contract of Sifiso Shanti. They did not announce the extension of the contract of U Kama Billiard. For the time being, Bafetu, Kama Billiard is a free agent. And there are some sources. Let me just also confirm here. But there are some sources that were saying, in fact, with Billiard today was not training with Kaiser Chiefs. You know, so he remains a free agent for the time being. Why am I saying it? Because there is no contract, right? Yabo. Yeah, so that's it, Buffet too. Um yeah, now okay. I can confirm that Kaiser Chiefs squad have left Naturena today as they are headed to Nelly Sprite, where they will be having a pre-season camp. As reported, Kama is not part of the squad. So Kama Pilat as it stands, Buffet too, is a free agent. He stopped training with Kaiser Chiefs, his contract has expired, and there is nothing that suggests that his contract has been extended. So wish him all the best and yeah. We're all wanting to see, you know, looking with keen eyes to see what is Kaiser Chiefs going to do. Are they letting go of such a player for the time being? Buffet too. It looks like yes. It looks like Kama is leaving Yonala Payana Eilo uh, Kaiser Chiefs. But we will see Buffet too how all of this will, you know, will end up. So thank you guys. I'm um, closing now the video. Very much appreciate all of you the support uh, that you've given the channel. Thank you so much, Buffet too. Please continue supporting me. Thank you.